with Alex Pierce. Uh, that was the boys' final hit out before round one. How did you feel it went? Yeah, pretty good. I thought we took some steps from last week. We probably didn't play the way we wanted to um, as a group, sort of with the ball all the way we defended. But I thought today, a bit more consistent. We were able to move the ball a bit better, um, score a bit better. And I thought our defence took some steps as well. And we were pretty, yeah, we were pretty hard to play against at times. That was good. It was more, more of an official clash. Did that kind of help the boys get their heads in the game a bit better? Yeah, I think so. They had that first, that first practice match. Um, we had a sort of a busy week and just buying out a few cobwebs. So, yeah, this one, I think we prepared a lot better. Um, it was four quarters of proper, um, yeah, proper game time as well. So, yeah, no, it was nice to, to have that, um, have one that sort of resembles round one and, yeah, I feel like we're in a good spot now with a couple of weeks to go. Is that similar to, to your messaging to the boys at the start of the game? Yeah, we wanted to take steps from last week, but we weren't overreacting. Uh, we've done some really good work during the pre-season, so it was just about trusting that work that we've done. And yeah, I thought we were able to do that. Um, the message throughout the whole game was to keep trusting ourselves with when we've got the ball and we don't have the ball. And felt like as the game went on and we got fatigued, we were still able to trust and play the way we wanted to pretty well. So yeah, I was happy with how the boys went. Port's got a lot of talent. They'll probably rise this year. It's good to test ourselves against another AFL team and, and come out on top. Yeah, yeah, you can only get so much when you play and train against yourself um, day in, day out, week in, week out. So it's nice to have um, yeah, some official opposition. Port have been a good side for the last couple of years and yeah, there's every chance they'll be another they'll be tough to beat this year. So yeah, really good hit out and I think it puts us in a yeah, good spot leading up to St Kilda. Who impressed you out there? Uh, oh, good question. Um, love watching Jager and having him in the midfield. I thought the way that him and um, him and Will and Andy, uh, Caleb all work together. Um, they've had a really uh, good preseason in the midfield, and they're gelling really nicely with Sean. I thought up forward, Nathan did some really good things. Uh, love Sam Sturt. Uh, kicked a really nice goal and laid some really uh, good pressure. Josh Tracy's came in, had some big moments as well. I thought. Um, the back line, the back line always does well. Um, I don't want to single term the boys out, but I thought we, I thought we worked really well as a unit. It was good to have Coxie back playing some minutes, and I thought he took a, took a big step forward. Uh, Nathan Wilson's missed a lot of time during the preseason. But I thought he was able to um, stack some really good footy today as well. Um, five multiple goal kickers, I think, which is a great sign. Yeah, absolutely. I think our full line. At the moment, um, looks very dangerous because we have lots of avenues and lots of ways that we can be here. And our midfield as well are really dangerous and yeah, they can all kick goals. So I think it makes it hard for opposition defences because yeah, there's not just one one guy who's going to get it done. There's multiple who can do it many different ways. Fife had three, a couple of spectacular goals, maybe gave off a couple as well. So just great signs for him. Yeah, he's done really well. He's, um, it's funny to say, that um, Fife is learning a lot this year because he's been such a great player and done so much, but he's really he's done a mountain of work playing up forward and working on his craft because it is a lot different than um, playing in the midfield. So he looked really good today. He was super unselfish, as you said. Um, gave a couple of the tabs, a couple of little gimme, so tabs will be happy with him. Um, yeah, I think the forward lines work really well together, been really unselfish as a unit, so it's, yeah, it's really nice to see. Um, Andy Will. Caleb, they'll have 30 plus, they're just great signs for them. 100% I've been battling against each other all pre-season um, fiercely. Um, yeah, against each other and like Matty Johnson and Neil Erasmus as well. We got to see Jono um, play today, but it's a credit to that midfield group, not just those sort of the three or four main guys, but the depth that we've got, just how fiercely they compete each training session that really means that um, everyone's improving and getting the most out of each other every session. And Ethan Hughes on the wing seems to be a, something that we're going to stick with this year. It was great. Yeah, I think the last couple of weeks has been one of our best players. Um, you know, we get with Hughes, he's going to give his all. He's going to really stand up um, when the ball's there to be won, lay some fierce tackles. Um, he played back for us last week and went back a couple of times to help us with rotations today. So he's just... Um, really versatile, really reliable, and just a bloke we love playing alongside. He didn't play as much footy as he probably would have liked last year, so it's great that it seems like we found a way for him to get in the team and he can help the backs out whenever he's need. Yeah, yeah, he would have been really disappointed last year to um, miss out um, for a few games. So 
it's just a credit to how hard he's worked during the off-season um, and it's not surprising knowing the person that Ethan is that he's come back really committed to that role on the wing and coming out and playing some really good footy. And looking ahead to St Kilda, does the focus turn to them straight away? Um, yeah, probably. Um, we'll see what the coaches have in store. We've still got another couple of good weeks of training. Um, so we'll review this game and take some take some messages and take some learnings from it. Um, yeah, we probably won't look at St Kilda um, over the next sort of four or five days. Maybe, yeah, maybe in the week leading up. We know that the most important thing is that we play our best footy. So that's what we're focusing on this next week. I, I would have thought. I forgot to ask about your battle with Dixon. How did you find that? Yeah, yeah it's good. I uh, played against him a few times. He's a, he's a really good player, really fierce, really um, tough to play against. So it's nice to have a really strong battle like that before round one to get the juices flowing and get back into that um, high-intensity game mode. And you asked me keen to lead the boys out in round one too. 100%. Super excited. Um, it's been a good pre-season, long pre-season, but we feel like we're in a really good spot. Um, and, yeah, I think we've... Um, a lot of work's gone in and we're ready for round one. It's put in a really good performance.